And then a little girl jumps on the the what do you call it the night uh, the day, yeah, yeah yeah with a knife and stabs him and I'm like there's a little girl with a knife jumping on a dude we have that in our episode <laughs> you know? and I was like what are the chances so that episode for people who didn't see it it was amazing so Loach uh, the cop who's been um, yeah, yeah, yeah who's been tailing Barry and using fugues to get info on Barry. You think he's going to arrest him for killing his partner, but instead he says, I want you to kill the guy who's dating my ex-wife. Right. So he named Ronnie Proxen. It's a flip. So you go to the house, or Barry goes to the house. I go to the house to kill Ronnie. I tell Ronnie, who's this kind of stoner guy, hey, you know, I'm not going to kill you. This guy wants me to kill you. I don't want to. But um, but then he walks into another room. And he's he goes, got yeah. taekwondo trophies yeah, everywhere. Yeah, the guy's a tae. I find out he's a taekwondo. <laughs> he's like one of the best taekwondo guys in the world. Yeah, that was a problem. When I was writing it, it was a fun thing to write Barry trying to convince this guy, you know, this thing. And then you go, okay, they go to get the bags, and you go, well, what's the worst thing that he could see when he goes to get the bags? They're just like, oh, what if he has a taekwondo trophy? And then it's like, what if the whole room's filled with taekwondo <laughs> trophies? And I was like, oh, that's good. So then a fight ensues, which just, uh, I got to give credit to this guy, Wade Allen, our stunt coordinator, and Daniel, um, who plays Ronnie. Yeah. He's in a ton of stuff. He's like the Matrix. He's the guy that, you remember Matrix 2 when they had that big fight on the freeway? Yeah. He's the guy that jumps and lands on the hood of the car and smashes it and it goes into slow motion. I think that's Daniel. One of the nicest guys in the world. Um, so but, you're sketching out this whole fight scene. Yeah. Yeah, with with Wade, and I just said I would like it to be one shot. But, but you, you haven't done cool. a lot of those, though. No. We I, have to remember, like, sequences of moves and punches. Yeah, awesome. I, I just wanted it to feel kind of just like one. I directed the episode, too, so I just I wanted it to feel kind of just this meandering um, camera. And uh, the DP, Paolo Widobro, Initially, I was going to have them follow the, the camera was going to follow them everywhere. And she said, oh, it could be interesting if they just kind of come in and out of frame because it, it makes it a little bit more. You're kind of uh, observing it and, yeah. and, and more, you know, and it seems like you're the point. I always think of that shot as you're almost from the point of view of someone telling them to stop. You know, it's like, right. guys, guys, come on, you know, and then they go, Ugh, and then they go off this way and you don't want to look where they fell. And then you look over, oh, they're on the ground now, you know. Yeah. Wade Allen, it was really cool. I kind of told him what the shot was and then he choreographed a fight specifically for that shot. So it would play all out to camera. So all the moves and everything are very specific for the shot. So it's like the shot came first, the camera move came first. And then he went, oh, OK, well, here's what we'll do. We'll go. We'll just play it against this wall. And we'll so it ends time. with him basically getting a broken trachea and then you think it's over but then he goes in and he gets nunchucks nunchucks <laughs> and then he has two nunchucks and 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 daniel can do that obviously you see it he starts doing nunchucks and then i found it so funny that when we were in the edit jeff buchanan the editor of that episode i said can you just double it so if you watch it he does it once and then it cuts to barry and when it cuts back we just that's the exact same shot again because <laughs> i just thought it was really funny i was like and he goes, what, you just want him to sit there and just, like, yeah. It's like, yeah, he's like, he's showing off. Like, he's right. trying to intimidate him. <laughs> and he went, so Barry just is sitting there watching him do that. And I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, all right. Um, and then he, yeah, so he attacks him with the nunchucks. And then he he, he uh, chokes. He finally dies from his uh, trachea So now thing. it's over. It's done. So then Barry's like, fine. He didn't want to kill him. He had to kill him. He, he, he feels terrible. He goes to leave. And then his little daughter's there. Dad? Hopefully the audience goes, oh, no, Barry's going to have to kill a kid. The so, audience went that way. I can yeah, tell you my so, wife oh and my I God. felt that way. So the girl leaves. She goes, Dad? And she runs out. Barry goes to leave, stops, puts his mask back on, goes to find her. Um, he says, hey, I'll, you know, little girl, you know, we'll, you know, I could take you to Chicago. I could do whatever, but he can't. She saw his face. And then he thinks she escaped out a window when actually she's behind him. And uh, she then is like a Taekwondo master. And she's she, like an animal. She's like an animal, yeah. She's she like starts, a, a wild animal. And she beats the living shit out of Barry. So, yeah. how'd you find this person? Her name's Jessie. Her, her parents are uh, stunt performers, and they're 
uh, Wade Allen, my stunt coordinator, was uh, during season one, came up to me and goes, "Hey man, just so you know, just I have." There's this little girl named Jessie. She's the Zion of young stunt people. Yeah, she. he showed me this video of her on a roof of a house, and she ran along the roof of the house, and she jumps onto a moving car as it goes off. And he goes, and I went, whoa. He goes, yeah, she can do Taekwondo. She can do this. And he showed me a tr- uh, commercial she did where she was in a go-kart, and I was like, where she was driving a go-kart. Yeah. I went, whoa, that looks cool. And... Um, He's like, yes, I don't know if you ever, I don't know why, but just so you know, she exists and she's pretty cool and her parents are rad and blah, blah, blah. So then I had that in my head. So when I was writing this, like, oh, he kills Ronnie. That sucks. And then, oh, man, what if there was a little girl there and then, you know, she escapes. Yeah. And then I went, well, what if there's a little girl and she was this girl Wade told me about and she beats the shit out of Barry. <laughs> and she, and then in writing it, she became like an animal. It was more out of like, you know, that what I, in my mind, because she was a stump person, I didn't know she was an actress. Um, I thought, well, maybe if she's more of an animal, that's an easier thing to play instead of something well, else. Pussy, and then she turned out to be this great actor as well. And you had a mask on, so you could just have a stuntman playing that you for totally, most of that, right? That was totally yeah, by design. that was smart. That was like, because I got to be able to watch the shots, and I'm not going to have Daniel, like, kicking me in the head. Actually, later on, he he almost kicked me in the head. Okay, you do it? <sighs> yes. Is he dead? Just drive. Yeah. So mm-hmm. then that goes... Then she, you have that shot where she climbs the house. Well, she stabs me. She gets away. Me and Steven Root have to go find her. Yeah. And then we see her, and then she runs up. Yeah, we see her on she the She climbs side. the tree and jumps on the house. Was that yeah. CGI'd? Or the, did... the tree isn't there. The tree is CG. That was a, it's like a green yeah, yeah. trunk. Okay. It's like, a, it's like a green screen trunk with little things. It was like a rock climbing wall kind of. And she ran up that, and then VFX put in the tree. Oh, that's cool. And so, yeah. And then she's on a big, she was on uh, wires to, for safety. So when Alec and I showed up, there was this giant tower with, you know, wines going down to her and all this stuff. And people, the, everyone in that neighborhood, like, they weren't allowed to, like, leave for work that day. Or oh they had to go God. park down the street because we had the oh, whole So you guys thing. are those assholes that take yeah, our neighborhoods. Those assholes. I hate those people. I know. And Alec was like, this is all because of this. You want this in one shot, asshole. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Sorry. I know. I'm sorry, man. But I did. I felt really responsible. And then also, every time she would go on the top roof of that house, I'm in the shot. I'm sitting in the passenger seat and Fuchs gets out. Yeah. And uh, so I have to act like I'm out of it, but I actually had a monitor in my lap, so I'm acting sick, and he goes out this way by the monitor that I'm looking at so I could watch the shot. <laughs> and every time they would do it, my stomach was in knots because I was like, oh, God, I have an 11-year-old girl running up right. for this house. Well, she's Zion, though. It sounds like so she's, she's the prodigy. So she's Zion, and she was able to do it. Okay, she's not human. And then later, there's a scene where she jumps on the roof of the car, and then she gets, she's able to do this move where she gets through the back of the car, yeah. and she bites Steven Root on the on the face. <laughs> right. And uh, he, we have a little dialogue scene while she's like attached to his face, and she was really she was really cute. I said, because um, initially she was like, so I do I just bite him, and then I just am like you know wrestling. I go, no, I go. Have you ever had a dog? bite you and she went yes <laughs> i go you know when a dog kind of latches onto you and it kind of like goes dead-eyed <laughs> yeah she went yes like she got so excited she goes i know exactly i've had that happen <laughs> oh, jesus <laughs> and it was really sweet she's like i know what you mean and i was like yeah do that and then just you know just kind of look off dead-eyed you know and breathe breathe a lot just take her off your face okay Why? Because I super glued my hands to the steering wheel. So then after that, it ends up in the grocery store, and there's another fight. Yeah, I get to the grocery store That's, thinking that I'm all show good. Just, that show's just and going. And then I for a turn half over, hour. and there's Ronnie isn't dead. He's getting a <laughs> neck brace in the same thing. And that's when Daniel almost kicked me in the head because he walked up to me, and he did like a roundhouse, and I had to duck, and I wanted it all in one shot where I yeah. duck, and he hits the stuff, and I get up, I'm like, come on, don't be an asshole, and all this. Um, 
And Daniel, though, I say that I think I was nervous because he showed me it was amazing. He went full roundhouse, full speed, and went and just stopped right there. And then could go on this side, that side, and go, see, I could go here, I could go here. I will not kick you. You'll be fine, man. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. And all this. So I was like, Jesus. But uh, one of the nicest guys in the world. Um, And our favorite guy actually was a stunt guy. It was Matt Damon's stunt double is in that he's the guy that he headbutts, the guy yeah. who's stacking the things. That's Matt Damon's longtime stunt double, and Alec loved talking to him because he had a really thick Boston accent. Oh, really? And Alec went to Harvard and lived in Boston for a while, so Alec was just like, oh, man, I love this guy. And he was just – I mean, those are the things no one will find funny, but in the edit bay – our favorite, the thing that made us laugh the hardest is when he comes up and he goes, hey guys, come on. And then and then Daniel headbutts him and he goes, Ka-ka! like that. Calm down. Hey, 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 come on, guy, come on. And he did that on purpose to make us laugh. He went, Ka-ka! like that. And we fell down laughing when we shot it. Yeah. And actually the hardest we laughed while we were shooting it is uh, when Loach gets it. When Loach, he shoots uh, Daniel in the face and then he thinks he's dead, and then he goes to shoot Barry, and then Daniel comes back up like the Terminator. Right. And then he turns around, he does this roundhouse kick. Well, my favorite thing was John, who plays Loach. I said, turn around, and I kind of saw it as like he turns around and goes, oh, you know, he's startled. But instead, he played it where he turned around, and he went, oh. like, right. how the fuck are you still alive? <laughs> right. Like, give me a break. And then he swings around, and that's a dummy head. So we had a dummy head that... Daniel could really just kick really hard. Yeah. And he kicked it clear across the aisles. Like, he just went, it went, like, 40 yards. It just flew off. And Wade and Gavin uh, Kleintop, the first AD, we fell over laughing. I mean, we were also, it was, like, 5 in the morning, but we were, like, losing our minds laughing every time. We did it, like, three times where he had to kick it. great episode. Thanks, Is that the Emmy episode? I don't know. I think so. I don't. Yeah. I. That's. Our producer Probably Amy. Should be.